Hello everyone. You have clicked on this video so you can learn a little bit more about the Eastern Fence Lizard, one of my favorite of all reptiles and what my mom affectionately calls the Alligator Lizard because she thought it was an alligator. So the range of the Eastern Fence Lizard is quite extensive. It goes along the east coast of the United States and into the central U.S. as well as into northern Mexico. It is also a species of least concern on the IUCN Red List. As far as habitat goes, the eastern fence lizard is a bit of a generalist. It likes shrublands, grasslands, and also the edge of pine or hardwood forests. They can be found under wood piles, logs, near rocks, or wherever else they can find protection during the evening hours. When it comes to identification, they vary in color geographically, but are usually some combination of gray, brown, or rust and they also have distinctive dark lines across their backs and down their tails. Males are distinctive as they have a blue patch either on their belly or on their throat during the mating season. As far as a few facts about their life history, their mating season begins in April. One of the mating displays for the males is flashing their blue patches to attract females. They also have anal glands that secrete a pheromone during and after the breeding season. To attract females and to ward off other suitors, males do head bob displays, push-ups, and puff themselves up to make themselves seem larger. Head bobs and push-ups are done in about four to five second intervals, and they're really a hit with the ladies. So eastern fence lizards are active during the day, from about 6 a.m. to about 6 p.m., and they can be found basking in the sun on wood piles, fence posts, and trees. During the summer, they like to use tree trunks and branches instead of rocks, as it allows them to stay cool in the hot weather. Now, they are not harmful to people. They're actually really good because they eat spiders and other pest insects. However, if you do harass them, they will on occasion bite you. So, for a little bit more on their life history. Fence lizards have very defined home ranges, ranging from 47 to 61 square meters. During years when food is plentiful, their home range increases. Their sleeping location is usually very close to, if not at, their basking location. Eastern fence lizards primarily eat insects and other arthropods, including ants, beetles, weevils, ladybugs, spiders, and centipedes. They also sometimes eat snails. As far as their lifespan, researchers believe that they can live for more than five years. However, the majority of them will probably die soon after hatching, either from predation or lack of food resources. Unfortunately for our little scaly friends, they are easily predated upon. Males with larger blue patches are more likely to be preyed on by birds because of their color being so vibrant. As a result, males have higher mortality rates during early spring when establishing mating territories. Females have higher mortality during the egg-laying period because they're protecting their territory, making them more susceptible to predators being able to find them. Larger lizard species, snakes, domestic cats and dogs also eat eastern fence lizards. They are also slower than other lizards, often giving predators an advantage that they need to capture them. Well, this was just a quick overview on the eastern fence lizard. I hope you guys learned something, and I will see you in the next video.